and welcome to another video and today as you can see we are on MotoGP18 once again for another episode of the Nova Takes on Lap 1 series as per usual we've got the 2019 mod on as well and we are playing as John McPhee in Silverstone as was requested in the previous or well, not the previous episode I think it was an episode before that Since nothing really happens on lap one, we may as well explain the rules just in case someone hasn't seen the series before. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Not allowed to ever take any AI on the first lap, and um, then we have the rest of the race to try and get up as high as we can. If there are any crashes, we don't have to wait up for the AI uh, that have crashed. Although I think if there's someone that's involved in this crash and they get back on the circuit before I've gone past them, I have to look, I have to keep them in front. So, uh, there's that as well, but I don't have to let any through, I don't think, if, uh, that's how I'm just going to go for it anyway. I don't have to let any through if they get pushed wide by a crash, but if they get back on in front of me, I have to stay behind them, obviously, even if they're, like, alongside me, I have to let them back through, then. or have to let them have the position. So, come on, Kaito. Kaito needs to stay a bit closer to the other riders in the pack. Okay, they're battling a little bit up ahead, that's good. Come on, Kaiser. He's not staying very close to them, I don't like it. <laughs> well, I need my job to be easier, stay close to them. It's over. He's, he's doing really well here. He's, he's actually catching up to them a little bit. That's why he's doing really well, okay. He's not setting up the move now. Because hopefully we're able to get the move done as soon as the lap starts. So we're over the line, we can now make the maneuvers. We're over the start line as well, so we can definitely go for it. So up the inside into turn one, past two already. Try and run around that side off the two RBA bikes as well. We've got past one of them. But Yuchenko is still in front. Philip Salak's just ahead. As we go into Maggots, are we going to pass Philip Salak? Yes, we are. There's Ayagora in front as well with Vicente Perez. Nope, I think Masaki, uh, not Masaki, uh, Salak might be coming back at us. So we're trying to get in the slip stream of Vicente. Well, actually, we're not in the slip stream of Vicente. Now we are. We've got a lot of drive compared to him, actually. We're really close to the front of him. I guess it's because we're on this Honda. It's probably one of the... I don't know if it's one of the better Hondas. It's probably not, actually. In the game, I mean... In real life, obviously, they're all equal. But in the game, there's different tiers of them. So this makes it a bit more difficult to win with it. Well, the idea is it makes it difficult to win with a worse team, but it doesn't really matter what bike you have against the AI if you don't give them an advantage. Go around outside Alonso Lopez now, trying to get the sit stream of our teammate Suzaki. Close up to the back of Tom Buthema, so we've just gone split in the middle of those two. Around the outside of Fernandez as well. There's the two snipers bikes on the inside, and then we are on the inside. Oh, it's closing up, closing up. Bit of contact with obviously Arbolino on the inside of Suzuki now, though. Arbolino and Fanati are back on the inside, but we've got an amazing run. So they're out the inside of Yamasia. Running through Aintree. Behind Garcia in the slip stream of Garcia and Mino. That's Mino. Who's like that? Darren Bender up here. I think it is. Oh, we've had a bit of contact with Darren Bender. We've run a little bit hot actually. Get back on the throttle as early as we can. Oh, very close. Quarter stuff here. I'm on the grass. Oh, we've had contact. Oh, that's someone down. I think that was Messia. I think I might take a Fanati with him, but we definitely lost a few places from being squoes onto the inside grass there. 6 for Rodrigo, 2.0.10.3 for me, so it's solid 7 tenths quicker than me there. Through turn 1 on the throttle as early as we can, running all over the kerb. Nope, 
Suzuki's actually gained on us from that. We're in a slip stream off Minya though, towards Maggots. Well, actually, I suppose it's three Maggots when it's displayed, but... Whatever, through Bear Kids. Whoa. Rally outside of a red ass. He obviously got two races, uh, two race wins in uh, 2018, so he's got to be pretty happy with that. Obviously, one of them was inherited from Digi Antonio. And, uh, it, was a, it was a bit unfairly penalised, to be completely honest. And the other one was actually just Australia, where he just genuinely won. So we've got round his outside now. There's Darren Binder once again. Past Darren Binder here. Oh, there's a crash behind. Oh, there was a crash in front. There was a uh, layup on, I believe. This might have been Marcos Ramirez. In fact, it was. Yeah, look, his name's going down the order. Sergio Garcia is just ahead of us now. We're close up to Garcia. Right outside of Garcia. This is a stream of Cornfile. We're going flying past Cornfile. Through Abbey. Celestia and Vietti is in front of us now. bit of a gap to bridge to be honest so I actually might take a good lap of just trying to catch them up gotta be careful not to lose the front though I've used the wrong gear there I should have downshifted another one oh well that won't get too upset by it to be honest we are still catching him a little bit I think through woodcut so Rodrigo still leads be interesting to see the lap times here. So we did 2.099, 1.4 seconds behind Vietti. Through the first corner, we got very wide. We definitely get a warning for that. I would have thought. No, we've not actually. We've definitely lost some time from it. So that's probably why we didn't get a warning. Uh, gone wide into Maggots and Beckets. Really pushing here. We're pushing these curves as well, which dangerous game in this game as we've seen in our in the league race videos so this is the old point of the challenge really like look how far these guys got in front uh, just from these guys squabbling losing the rear end a little bit now but these guys behind are catching me again so it's really hard to run the pace of the leaders. I think we're being attacked. Garcia, oh! I think it's Garcia Perez, isn't it? No, Perez Garcia. Oh no, Sergio Garcia, that's why. I was thinking of Perez because of uh, Sergio Perez. It's just the best called Sergio. Through farm. Duffy catching up to the back of Vietti now. So there's definitely some sectors where the AI are poor, there's some where they're very good as well. So 1.3, so we've literally made the 10th in the entire time. So we're definitely not going to catch these guys. I mean, I know we made quite a few mistakes on this lap and the previous one as well, but. The eye behind are trying to pile on the pressure as much as they can. Trying to get a good exit. Go through woodcut now. It's our first clean lap as well, so we'll see what it was. 2.11.3. 1.8 seconds behind. We're struggling here. I think our tyre wear's definitely getting the better of us. Although these curves again, it's not faster, but really struggling to keep the momentum through the corners. Moto 3, as I've said many times, is not my favourite category. It's probably my least favourite one, if I'm completely honest. I'm on the grass. So keep going in hot into Maggots and Beckett's. It's a thing I wouldn't really do on a MotoGP bike, but uh, one of these, yeah. It's very uh, difficult to keep these. It's, it's, Moto 3 is only actually difficult, most difficult bike to ride, to be honest. But. So this don't really do what you want them to do.
But that's probably because people play with them the least. But if uh, you know, MotoGP was the uh, feeder series to Moto3, which I guess would make no sense, but uh, we'd all play Moto3 and not MotoGP. And we'd all be like, all these MotoGP bikes are so big and bulky. So, coming up towards Abbey once again. We are closing on Vietti. That's probably the closest we've been for a while. Through farm, trying not to high side through farm. It's actually been a pretty good sector that one. Let's see what the gap is here. I mean, it's starting to go away a little bit. Yeah, we got brought it down to 1.2. I think we were within a second at one point there. But they're just too good through this last sector. I'm not sure where they get on time from. They're really good through the first sector as well. Just they're not very good through Maggots and Beckett's. It's about the only corner. And uh, through Farm as well. They're pretty poor through there. I've lost the rear going in. Put it to the gravel. I don't want to lose more positions. I got a warning for that. That's definitely something I didn't deserve a warning for. But towards the line. It's going to be P8 there, so that was kind of a boring last few laps. It was just trying to catch the leaders and they were way too far in front. And their pace was too good, so... I guess that's what happens sometimes, unfortunately. So, in terms of our pace, we were only three tenths off on our best lap. But uh, we didn't run that pace very much. And we were seven seconds off the leader in the end. And he, in fact, he just left. He was 2.1 seconds in front, so it was just kind of, I think I could see the battle at the third, where they was having a bit of a battle, I think, but the front two both got gaps, I mean, I think Rossi was probably just off, off the front, but uh, yeah, Rodrigo definitely gone, but I hope you did enjoy that video. Um, feel free to drop more suggestions for more tracks and riders to try this, as, uh, try this at. And uh, feel free to try it and let me know how you got on. Obviously, make sure you have to use 120% AI. It's a bit, uh, a bit cheap if you didn't. Um, but yeah, a fun challenge nonetheless. And as I say, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I shall see you in the next one.